Hello, hello there. I am so excited to see you once again. Have you noticed that the world offers so much wisdom? Right now, if you go through social medias, there's positive talks, there's encouraging talks, there's different people that has come up with encouraging wisdom and encouraging talks. And it seems like they have some sort of wisdom, but it's a very thin line because mind you, these people don't have the spirit of God. These people just have experience and life and something called worldly wisdom. If you can turn with me to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 onwards. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their own craftiness. So here Paul is saying, if anyone among you seems to be wise, let him become a fool. So that means we all come with a certain wisdom. Some people are just more wise. Some people are just more mature. But here he's saying, don't deceive yourself. Don't hold on to the wisdom that you came from. If anything, become a fool so that you can become wise. But that's what the scripture says, because the world the world has so much to offer. The world has so much wisdom, positive talks, TED talks, whatever talks they have. But yet, is that the wisdom from heaven? Is that wisdom coming from a person who has Christ living and dwelling in them? That is something that we can get lost in. You know, the world says, follow your heart. But what does the Bible say about your heart? Turn with me to Jeremiah 17. Nine. It says, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the heart and test the mind to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his deeds. So here, the Bible talks about our heart is full of deceit, but the world says, follow your heart. But our heart is full of deceit. And Proverbs 28, 26 says, Who would trust in his own mind is a fool, but he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. So your mind can trick you, can deceive you, can make you think that this is wisdom. But yet the Bible says, whoever trusts in his own mind is a fool. And I'm telling you, I've had so many people who comes up with their own theory. Recently, there was a man who came into the church and he was fuming. He was like, there are no prophets in the Bible. And I looked at him and I asked him, but have you read your Bible? Maybe that was his understanding or maybe that's what he was taught. And he was just determined. He didn't want to listen to it. It's almost like he made up his mind. And it's only a fool who does that because the Bible says he who walks in wisdom will be delivered. So sometimes when you have a mind of your own and you are not allowing this, the wisdom of God that flows from the spirit of God and through the word of God, then you shall be set free. Otherwise, you will be bound when you have a mind of your own and when you're not open to hearing the words of God, when you're not open to hearing wisdom from the river of life. So I just want to encourage you right now, run away from every wisdom that the world has to offer, but hear the wisdom of the Lord. No matter how much counseling you get, as long as that person doesn't have the spirit of God, there's only so much they can do. There's only so much wisdom they can do. But the only wisdom that you need is from the Holy Spirit. And through the word of God and through your teachers and your pastors and your men and women of God that the Lord has placed in your life to receive wisdom and knowledge. Because remember, the Bible says he's not coming for a foolish bride, but he's coming for the wise bride, the wise virgins that was found in the Bible. He's coming for the wise ones, not the foolish ones. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, right now, I pray for wisdom for your people, Lord. Lord, that verse is so powerful. Those who walk in wisdom shall be delivered. Lord Jesus, I pray that you give the grace to our people to walk in wisdom so they shall be set free from religion, so they shall be set free from traditional mindset. And Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that wisdom 
wisdom will flow through your people even as they listen to the word of god that lord you will open their understanding you will open their hearts and their mind lord jesus and they will flow in wisdom and you will make us wise and i pray spirit of god that you will help us to receive wisdom from the right source in jesus name i pray amen and amen wow i pray that this word has mightily blessed you and i pray that god will continue to pour out his wisdom and you will walk in the ways of the lord and you will allow the holy spirit to lead and guide you as you allow the word to penetrate into your spirit until we meet again god bless and shalom